tonight for Swarthmore, we have head coach Harley Schwastik, uh, sophomore Merritt Den Robin, and senior Sarah Wallace. And coach Schwastik, can you just, uh, start with an opening statement on the match tonight? Um, it was a great defensive match. You know, kudos to Carnegie Mellon. They've had a fantastic season, and they really came. And our team just came out on fire. We were like no hold bar. And um, I just, you know, I, I can't believe the effort. We've been working towards this and trying to grow in every moment, and we're still growing. And it's just, it's awesome. Yeah, talk about the defensive. Really on both sides. I mean, you guys ended up with 98 digs, which for a three-set match, I mean, that's that's almost unheard of. Um, just defensive intensity on both sides you know, tonight. Just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so we, you know, we really try to tailor our system around our, our best players and in, in the backcourt, and it's a team effort. We know that um, if we don't give 100% effort, then the balls are going to drop, and you can't let balls drop in, and we're such a momentum game that that's, that's our main goal is just to frustrate the other teams. And so um, we spent a lot of time working on it, and we just out-hustled, and it, it really came together. They were determined and focused from point one. And man, you kind of want to follow up with that. I mean, you had um, 24 digs tonight, in addition to having 15 kills. You just want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, your your team's defensive effort tonight, and you know what your game plan was coming into the match. I think we really wanted to have a lot of fun. Like we've made it this far, and that's crazy. And and we want to we want to build off of what we've done so far. And we feed off of each other's energy. Like someone gets this crazy dig, and someone else is like, "I'm gonna have to get another crazy dig," and that just keeps the ball going. Uh, so again, it's a team effort. Yeah. Um, Sarah, um, how important was it for you guys to get off? Obviously, you guys off to a quick start in the first set, and it kind of you know you were able to get out in all three sets and kind of get a lead early on. How important was that? You know, to be able to get a lead and to you know be able to. You know, kind of maintain that lead as opposed to coming from behind. I think that was really important, especially because Carnegie Mellon is a really strong team, and we knew that going in. Like they're not they're nationally ranked for a reason, and so having that momentum at the beginning and getting that early lead was definitely very important in order to get our confidence up, and so we could play as a team and have all those great defensive efforts. Yeah, it was super important. Yeah. And coach, you just want to talk a little bit about um, you know, obviously this is your first trip to the NCAA's and you know being able to you know, have this momentum now to make the regional final, what it means, you know, for you as a coach, obviously you've been with the program a while, and, you know, for the program as a whole. Um, it just shows that we can be really smart and be athletic too. I think that that's the number one thing is when we're in the top liberal arts colleges in the country, these women aren't going to play professional volleyball. They're going to do amazing things. And that we are able to balance both and do both and have fun and compete and just it's, it just it's just amazing um, and we've gotten to finally prove it you know we work really hard to play a tough schedule without compromising our academics and um, they just show that like I said they can be great students and great athletes at the same time oh, great thank you very much thank you I have a couple of questions here. I had a little more uh, said yesterday so first off congratulations I'm not gonna ask too many don't worry um, so this is the third uh, ranked win for this program uh, the previous one was actually over number 25 Carnegie Mellon about oh, two yeah. years ago um, in the ECAC final, obviously that team is going to be a little bit different in terms of turnover. You know, the coach is the same and a lot of the players are the same. You know, how did that affect your approach going into this national Well, football? for me, like Kim Kelly was at Gettysburg when I came to Swarthmore as a head coach when I was 24. I have a ton of respect for Coach Kelly. She um, had a fantastic program at Gettysburg and has done amazing things with Carnegie Mellon in such a great conference of the UAA. And I think that being them again, it was um, a similar approach that we knew we needed to control the momentum, and we just approached it again as another conference team. Who do they match up like in our conference, and how can we have that same mentality um, going into the match? And then uh, I think a, a big turning point, at least in the second set, we were up 7-6. Uh, it was that marathon point back and forth. I'm not sure how many times. Um, each side had the ball, and then you guys came away with the point. Um, if anyone wants to answer, you know, how did it feel during that point? And you know, after that, you carried on. I mean, have to look at the stats, but you went on a run. And, and so, what what does that do for you when you're in that situation? You guys were on the court. <laughs> <laughs> I think for us, it was again back to the defensive efforts. Like our defense was picking everything up. Their defense was picking everything up, and it, the rally just kept going and going. And so, as a hitter during that rally, I was trying to work my butt off to get the point for my teammates. And then we finally pulled through, and we were able to get the point for our teammates. And then. After that, I think we were able to have more confidence and kind of carry that confidence through, knowing that we could play a rally like that and still come out winning. 
Yeah, winning those long rallies really gives you a lot of momentum, and you go into the huddle afterwards, and everyone's like, frick yeah. And it's just a lot of fun. Like, just playing great is. volleyball is a lot of fun. And it really got the crowd into it as well. Um, is there anything you want to say to me? I just want to thank our fans. You know, we are we are a nationally based school, actually internationally based school. We have art. I mean, both of these are from California. Her parents road tripped it because <laughs> that's what the Wallaces do. Um, Mayor's family isn't here, but you know, it's just not so great to have the school support. You know, being close enough that people can drive on a Saturday, and the fans. You know, people really were a lot of fun to watch, and that's what the sport of volleyball is all about. And most people miss out on that. So yeah, go volleyball. <laughs> Uh, and looking at the box score today, you guys had 12 service aces, only five errors, and then I think you capped off the match with either one or two service aces, and it looked like throughout the whole match you were kind of keeping them off balance right from the get-go. Um, what was your strategy kind of about that going into it, the match? Our game is a serve and pass game. It's all about side outs, and you have to be aggressive and serving tough from the service line. And I give also credit to our conference opponent that's still in the tournament, Johns Hopkins. They're the best serving team in our conference. If not, I think nationally they're they're right on there. And we've had that opportunity to play against them and know that we have to be aggressive from the service line. And so that's just one of our you know game plans to keep attacking as much as we possibly can. And one last question for you. Uh, you're going to play the winner of Stevenson and Johns Hopkins tomorrow. Uh, these are teams that you're both familiar with, having played Stevenson earlier this season and Hopkins countless times over the years. Um, how, how will that affect your approach, if at all? Um, from the coaching staff, is we're just going to keep – we're going to focus on what we did well today and what we can adjust and tweak and do better tomorrow. I mean, we're from, we played both of them this season. Um, they're losses of ours, and I think – and we're going to go watch the match and take it like any other match. Thank you. Thanks. All right, thanks. Thanks.